This is Dolony TV, guys. A big welcome back to MLB the Show 18 here on the channel. Right now, what am I going to teach you? I'm going to teach you how to make the easiest stubs you can make in MLB the Show doing, flipping, using, whatever you want to say about souvenirs. Now, of course, a lot of you guys say, forewarning, and I know I'm going to get the backlash. Everyone's going to say, take out souvenirs. They're trash. Actually, they are the best investments the best flips you can make on the MLB The Show market this year. 100%. If you know what you're doing, if I show you what you're supposed to do, you will have no issue with souvenirs following today's video. So with that said, what I want you to do, so as you don't miss another video here on Dollany TV, because you never know when one of these videos is going to come across your feed, hit that subscribe button. And of course, try to hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Trying to hit about 25 likes on this beauty of a video. So souvenirs, obviously, these are souvenirs, right? Your autograph balls, your bats, your hats, your jerseys, all kinds of good stuff that isn't a player, a sponsorship, a piece of equipment, or a stadium. That's a souvenir. Now, to start this out, I just wanna sh kinda show you guys what souvenirs are all about. So of course, I've redeemed that souvenir pack. Um, Exchange it up 40, so we will exchange. Do I have anyone else we can exchange for? Exchange, there we go. So I should have an angel souvenir. No, I don't, see? I'm lagging behind here, boys. Already redeemed that one. Johnny Peralta already redeemed that one. Adam Lynn, that is redeemed as well. Victor Robles is 20% done. Do I have national souvenirs? Yes, I do. I have a Trey Turner bobblehead. Perfect, let's exchange that and get that souvenir pack. I knew somewhere along the way had a souvenir pack. I just couldn't remember at the top of the video when you get recording. Sometimes you forget things. But there we go. A souvenirs pack. Now, what are you asking? A souvenirs pack usually comes with two cards in it. And that is, like I mentioned, hats, bats, balls, bobbleheads, or jerseys. We're going to open up this souvenir. Contains two souvenir items needed to complete Diamond Dynasty miss missions. We're going to throw them on the market. Right there, Chicago Cubs. Road jersey, and then a Michael Fulmer bobblehead. So I exchange one bobblehead, get one right back, and then of course you get the road jersey as well. Now what I'm gonna show you is we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go talk souvenirs. And we're gonna go to the jersey section of the Cubs. And right there, their road jersey goes for 205. So this one, not exactly the same kind of thing I wanna show you, but look at that. The alternate jersey on the other hand, 2,230 is the sell now, and then the buy now is 3,100. Well, right there, you're looking at a profit roughly of 500 stubs for flipping that jersey. Really, if you can flip one every 15 minutes, 500 stubs times four, that's 2,000 stubs an hour. Man, you're doing good. Of course, you should have some other investments. But first, you start with those souvenir packs. They're easy. I showed you what you have to do simple to do it in the position player programs to get one souvenir pack. You think about all those position player programs, man, you can get a lot of souvenir packs and you can get golds, you can get diamonds in there. Why wouldn't you do it? So now I'm gonna show you what you have to do. Jerseys in general, if you go with diamond jerseys, we'll go uppity, not holidays, not Thanksgiving, not uh, none of that, diamond. So you see everything roughly estimates around that 800 or above mark into the 2000s most of the time. Some of these up to 6,900, 6,100, right? Like some of these are just astronomical stub flips and you wanna hone in on ones that are hot. And now when I'm talking ones that are hot, there you go, all four pages, you see pretty good prices on them. When I'm talking ones that are hot, you wanna go eliminate all your search types and you see, okay, now you're gonna see what everything shows up. This first page is where your souvenirs are gonna flip tenfold faster than going in and trying to flip them unless you're looking at the Phillies ones because the Phillies are in high in demand, that kind of stuff. If you know it's high in demand, then you flip it. But being on the first page, all of these are in high demand because this is what people are first. When they land here, this is what they're first seeing. Now this Giants Jersey Road alternate, I'm gonna caution you right here. This is an issue with souvenirs, and you gotta be first and foremost when you're encountering it. 
if the sell now or the buy now page is less than full, that obviously means the price is at its absolute max. Like you're very rarely going to see a jersey get to 6,000 stubs. So for 1,300, 2,900, that's a big, big gap to fill in terms of a flip. But I'd say that will average probably down to about 2,400, 2,300, somewhere in there. If you buy it for now, 1331 and flip it for 2400, you're still looking at a very good profit rate there. So don't mind that. Now, my all time favorite, the way I have gotten so good and so high in terms of stubs is by flipping a few hats. You see the Phillies hat right here, 2900 sell now. So that's what you put it in for. You get it for 2900 stubs. Well, you flip it for 3900 essentially, right? All of a sudden you're flipping it for 3,500 stops. That's 600 stops. Now look down, 29, 29, 28, 28, 27. So if you lock in at 28, yeah, sure, you might have to wait for some sell orders to finish, but damn right, you can get it for 200, 300 stops less and still flip it for 3,900. Even if it goes down in price, it'll come right back up. It's souvenirs, they move so quick and are so volatile that you don't want to mess around with, okay, well, I need to quick sale this as soon as possible because it's just on the downtrend. This was at 2,900 stubs two hours ago, okay? At the time of recording this video, it was at 2,900 stubs. Now, all of a sudden, up to 3,889. Keep that in mind when you're doing the Phillies hat. The other hats I would caution you to do, the Marlins hat, 1450, 2175. Now when I'm talking about quick turnaround, the Marlins hat is the one you want. I think 2175, I believe that is my sell order to be honest with you. And let's go check that. Hey, hey, what do you say? 2175, Tyson's got a sell order in for that. Of course I'm trying to flip some other stuff as you have to, but you see a lot of it is hats. Right now I've got five for the Mar or Phillies and then you've got three for the Marlins as well. I'm greasing it, 2,500 stubs for the Phillies hat. The other hat, and I am gonna put these buy orders in live with you right here, the Red Sox hat, 1,600. So you can usually get it between 1,400 and 1,700 and you see it's going for about 2,300 right now. So I'm gonna be real cheap, not go too high up on the next price and go 1615, only an extra five stubs over Buddy there at 1610, and try and grease a couple of these hats for what would be just about a 400 stub profit. 400 stubs off of 1600 stubs. Well, think about that. I'm making a quarter of the stubs invested, plus I'm making them back. So right there, you're going 125% each time I flip a hat. That is insane profit margin right there, boys. And then the other one I would caution you to do because I will show you this all day. The bats, we need to eliminate the Red Sox. Now a bat, if you can see it for about 28, 2,900, you see, okay, they're right there. 2,800, it's going for 36, but two sell orders later, it's going for 38.50. Right there, if you got a couple of stubs to throw away and try and make a little extra on, uh, you can do it. It's a long-term thing with these bats, but you can do it, and now, the last one I'm gonna show you is bobbleheads. These legend bobbleheads, not really worth your time. I mean, yeah, sure, okay. You, you can probably go pretty quick, 600 to 885. That's some good stub profit if you're moving quick enough. What did we just complete? Well, we just bought a Red Sox hat. Look at that. It's that quick, boys. It is literally that quick. I'm not even joking you. Red Sox, let's go 2300 and right there, 2315. So we bought it for 1615. Selling it for 2083. Well, bing bang, you're making 463 stubs or 68 stubs in one flip. Right there, guys. That's souvenirs for you in a nutshell. That is very quick. Back to the bobbleheads for just a second because right here, okay, we want the bronze bobbleheads. So you see some of these, and this is where you got to go through the list because these are hot ticket items, right? Like you need them for collections. Well, 273, 205, a couple of these going for big numbers. And all you have to invest is 100 stubs. 250, 102, right? Uh, 323 for 126, invest 130, right there, bing bang. 160 stubs, you got more stubs than you invested. That's the kind of stuff 
you got to look for when flipping souvenirs. I feel like a greasy car salesman trying to teach you guys this stuff, but it's the greasiest way to make stubs in MLB The Show, and it's the easiest. That's why it's probably greasy. Because it's greasy is easy, just uh, everybody else hates it, and that's the one I was saying off the top. Everybody seems to hate souvenirs, but it is the best way to make stubs in MLB The Show. Anyway, guys, I'm Tyson. This is Stolen TV. I hope I've earned your subscription. Definitely hit that subscribe button, click the bell to get notifications for next video. And I will catch you guys, as always, in the next one. 25 likes challenge. I'm up on Odie here.